golden rule that we say at work, treat others how you want to be treated. It's a golden rule. Even if it's not my own people, like, you know, you can be Spanish, you can be Italian, you can be whatever, it doesn't matter. You should never treat people or discriminate people. But we should come here just to work and make a living, make a better living for our families and also for, for us, you know, I mean, I always want to make sure you have a better future. My name is uh, Justin Gudiel. Um, I am the executive chef of Trattoria Bellagio. So I started working as a dishwasher. I was a dishwasher for uh, six, seven months. When you see Clifton, it, it's such a small town. So I came over here working um, in the pizza. When Justin started here, he was he started as the pizza guy, and I knew he was a pizza guy at the restaurant before that, and I think before that, but I think this is kind of the first place that's really given him the opportunity to grow. Um, and, you know, it's amazing that he has gone from the pizza guy to our executive chef in five years, all being self-taught, and that's just pretty much self-driven to do all of that. I absolutely think that he um, kind of took ownership of the pizza program at first, I know, and then he kind of got promoted to executive chef. He does all the specials. He really brings a uniqueness to the restaurant, in my opinion. I always love working in the kitchen, so one day I was like, oh, I'm going to go help them out in the back. So I started helping them out a little bit. I become a sous chef after a short period of time. And then the opportunity came for me to become the executive chef. So I was like, you know, I was nervous at first because it's a big responsibility. And it, I, was a, I was a little nervous at the beginning, but, you know, I have a really good team. The team is also it's key. I have a really good team. I have really good people in place. They do an awesome job. And I've been a chef for about three and a half years now. And still, I'm not stopping. <laughs> the sky is the limit. <laughs> My mom has always loved cooking. Ever since I was little, my mom had always, you know, she was always cook at home. And I would always see what she was making. It's my blood, I guess. My mom has a small, um, like a small restaurant, kind of like a cafe kind of thing. Yeah, I grew up in a, it's, so it's Guatemala City. We live about two and a half, or two, two and a half hours away from the main city. Uh, the name of the town is called Jutiapa. And there's like a little small town, it's called a Progreso. Um, between those two, um, I will say, those two cities, I will say, they're not cities, it's like a small towns. There was a little town, it's called San Antonio. Uh, we grew up there. After that, we moved to the town, just like the main town that was close. It was great. I can, you know, it's, life over there is different than here. I would say, Guatemala is a great place. I mean, it's, it's one of, Right now, it's, it's in one of the most <laughs> dangerous places to travel in the world, I mean. <laughs> but I guess it's different when you, um, when you don't know the place and you go over there. But when you know the place and people know you, it's different. I came here because I was trying to help out my family. Back home, you know, a day you earn $5 a day. But that's one of those things that, yeah, you want to help out your family more, but in a way, you lose your family. It's, we call it, we call it the golden cage. That's what we call it. You have everything in here, but you're in a cage. It's not a lot you can do. It's 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 it, it's not a lot. You're you're here. Yeah, you have everything. You work, you make money, but it's at the end of the day, you lose more than what you money can ever give you. You're gonna provide for them, but the quality of the time that you can have with them. By being with them, it's, you will never get that. And it's, it's tough. You know, the language barrier here is different. We should not be belittling people, discriminating people, because their race, their color, it doesn't matter. You know, we're all humans. It used to happen a lot to me, a lot at work. I mean, it used to happen a lot that I would be calling some stupid names, like white back. Uh, Mexican or stuff like that and I was like I mean I'm not doing anything to you you know I'm just working here I'm not um, they, they will call me names and stuff like that say cheese say cheese <laughs>
right there. Say, say cheese. Now, now, I mean, I have a son, and and I'm always, you know, I don't want him to go through the stuff. They sometimes people in school go, through, especially the Spanish kids, they get treated in a weird way like that. I don't want, you know, Grayson to go through any of that stuff. I want Grayson to be humble. I want him to kind of be grateful for everything he has. I mean, Justin and I, we hope to give Grayson everything he could ever want. We hope to give him all the tools in life that he needs to succeed. But not everyone is that fortunate. Kids, not many kids are that fortunate. You gotta set your mind into it. There is not a thing that, like, there is not a wall. The sky is the limit, <laughs> I would say. There's definitely some challenges that it will, you will come across in your little, you know, that's how it is. That's, it's what, that's what it makes it worth it at the end because, you know, you, you look back and you're like, oh my God, all the trouble that I went to get this, so we got to make it work. I remember when I started working, uh, um, when, I started, when I started working in, in the kitchen and, and I'm like, and I just think back and like all the trouble that I, that I went through, you know, I just, and I have to make it work. I love what I do, but some days you run out of energy. <laughs> and I try to go back to the same thing that brought me to cooking. That's what I love to do and just charge back up. It's, it's one of the things, but yeah, open a restaurant, I will say that's one of my next goals. Yeah. The chicken. The chicken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>